guys welcome back to world mechanics thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel in today's video guys we're going to uh, discuss a problem if you guys have a Ford Explorer with a 3.5 or 3.7 engine guys and you have coolant in your oil what could be causing that okay 3.5 3.7 engine guys so stay with us uh, in the meantime guys every vehicle we get at the shop we'll make at least 200 videos our our mission guys is to save you as much money as we can by teaching you how to fix your car for free all the tools and parts that we use are listed in the description of the video below so let's start on it now so that same engine is actually used on ford ford edge as well and we decided to make the video guys because it's exactly identical engine and what you can expect guys because there is not so much information and again as I said our mission is to save you as much money as we can by teaching you how to fix your car for free. So now the whole video guys okay this is just a video that explains what could be the reason okay but uh, the solution and how to replace and fix the problem is on the channel in the description of the video below. You can see guys this is a V6 engine okay and right here inside the engine guys is where your coolant okay coolant water pump is located okay you can see this is your coolant water pump right there now that water pump is completely enclosed inside the engine okay you can see you you cannot see you cannot see that pump on the outside because that timing cover is what's on top of it okay this time cover is everything sealed really good because otherwise oil will come out so in order to get to the pump you have to remove that timing cover but if that pump fails guys okay what is going to happen if the water pump fails okay coolant will start dripping inside the oil pan okay this is your oil pan and all that here the timing chain components and all that it's oil lubricated so coolant and oil will mix instantaneously I mean once the pump starts leaking you're done and that pump can leak from two different things one is the shaft one is the gasket so depending on how it fails now they do not fail very often but if you have a higher mileage vehicle you can expect the pump to fail from the gasket as well you can see that gasket eventually okay it's supposed to be sticking out and it got really flat okay it will get fried here because it's constantly exposed to heat okay heat from the engine heat from the oil free uh, heat from the coolant as well so eventually guys it will start leaking now if you replace the pump always get the whole kit with the timing chain as well because you don't want to do that job again i mean you have to set the timing anyways because when you remove the pump your timing is done so you have to be careful and this is the pump guys okay this is the special tool for the timing okay for the setting the timing on that 3.5 or 3.7 engine it's the same tool for both engines so hopefully guys the video will be helpful to some of you this is the number one reason number two reason it could be guys a head gasket you have two of them one on the front one on the back so it could be a head gasket so be careful hopefully it's not a head gasket because it will require even more work we have the video on the engine how to replace a head gasket that's what we're doing anyways so uh, the pump is the most common reason if you have coolant in your oil okay it's most likely the pump guys so thank you for watching please subscribe and see you guys next time